Roman show with Josh Berkman. Well, Josh, it didn't go your way this time around, right. but how are you taking this loss? You know, I think that uh, whether I lose or win or lose, you know, it doesn't really change who I am or how I approach my life. You know, um, I'm still the same person, just not uh, winning is more fun. <laughs> it's a lot more fun, you know, so um, but I'll, I'll take this in stride. You know, I don't uh, I, th I think that I have a lot better performances in my future and this wasn't the best one. But you know, like I said in another interview, you know, I'm more um, give credit to Steve Carl for that than you know, saying that I wasn't, you know, ready for the fight or didn't perform at 100%. Josh, you came into the fight knowing that this guy had 15 submission victories. Right. Uh, how did you 16, prepare? Huh? Six, now 16, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah. uh, going into the fight, uh, did you prepare for that, for the submission, or did you underestimate him in that right. way? No, I, I prepared for it. You know, I just slipped up. Um, I tried to pass, and when I did pass, I didn't stay tight. And, you know, he, he kept a hold of that and, and caught me. So... More just give credit to Steve Carl for him um, being slick and his jiu-jitsu, you know, because I did work on my jiu-jitsu and I was prepared for him and he just, you know, he, I uh, I got a little tired and tried to pass lazily and, you know, the sport is a lot about discipline and that was not a very disciplined way of passing. Well, Josh, what's next for you? You know, I'll, I'll go home, relax, take some time off and, uh, you know, I'll come back. I. I guarantee you that my best performances are ahead of me and you know that was not one of them thank you very much Josh. we appreciate it thank, thank you so you. much